Line 22, 7B, 97Z, 57D, Datum Transformations, Geocentric Cartesian Coordinates, Helmert 7, UFO Maps, 5G Well Study. There's the alien radio signal there. Okay. So this is a keyword research datum coordinates, Helmert 7, Geocentric Coordinates, Cartesian Spatials, or UFO Mapping, Outer Space Transport Vehicle found in Line 22 of the Well Data. September 19, 2013, the keywords Googled from previous videos. Line 227B97Z57A, Coastal Navigation, Reference Points, Outer Space, UFO Ballistics Formula 5G Well Study, and Line 227B97Z57B, Coastal Navigation, Bohr Laser Transmitter, Geodetic Datum Shift 5G Well Study, and then Line 227B97Z57C, Space Navigation Map, Projection, Geodetic Datum, UFO Quantum Transport 5G Well Study. So I'm Googling the keywords for bore lasers. I got the bore alignment laser. Then we went to datum shift transformations, and now we're at coordinate transformations. That's August 2009. Quotes and diagrams are from a blog presented by R Nippers. Cartoweb.itc.nl. So datum transformations via geocentric coordinates. Datum transformations via the geocentric coordinates XYZ are 3D similarity transformations. Essentially, these are transformations between two orthogonal 3D Cartesian spatial reference frames together with some elementary tools from adjustment theory. This is illustrated in the figure below. So there's datum A, datum B. Well, the principle of changing from one datum into another datum via the geocentric coordinates. The three most applied uh, methods for a datum transformation via the three-dimensional geocentric coordinates are Geo, number one is the geocentric translation. Number two is the Helmert 7 parameter transformations, position, vector, or coordinate frame. And number three is the Moldensky Badiska 10 parameter transformation. Refer to the OGP guidance note 7 coordinate conversions and transformations, including formulas, page 105 to 110 for the formulas and a detailed explanation of the formula. I didn't go there. Uh, you'd have to go to their blog and click on that link if you want to see more about that. So I, the geocentric translation relates two datum systems through three translations. The method applies a shift between the centers of the two geocentric coordinate systems. This shift is defined by the parameters dx, dy, and dz, or xo1, yo, and zo. The Helmer 7 parameter transformation relates two datum systems through a rotation an origin shift, and a scale factor. The transformation is expressed with seven parameters, three rotation angles, ABG, three origin shifts, DX, DY, and DZ, and one scale factor, S. An example, the ITRF, XYZ coordinates of the given point in the state of baden württemberg are transformed to the Potsdam datum. The seven parameters for transforming the point from ITRF to the Potsdam datum are given as follows. And there's a all sorts of numbers and letters there, okay? Which I'm not going to read because I'm tired <laughs> and lazy. <laughs> okay, so this set of parameters is provided by the, well, I'm not lazy. Oh, I'm just lazy today because it's raining out. It's a low pressure system and I'm exhausted because I got up at 4.30 this morning to work on this stuff. And it's now 9 o'clock, so I've been going at it for about 4 or 5 hours. Plus having breakfast too, so... This set of parameters provided by the Federal Mapping Organization of Germany was calculated using common points distributed, distributed, distributed throughout Germany. Applying these parameters to the given point results in the following Potsdam XYZ coordinates. So there's the meters and coordinates. Tools for the conversion from ITRF WG S84 to Potsdam coordinates external and uh, so data from the Helmet 7 will continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.